Have you ever considered the usefulness of a simple tool like a mirror? Just its reflective ability, the fact that you can hold it in front of you and it will tell you exactly how you look at that moment. Now, what does that do for you in terms of once you look at it and you see something needs adjusting, do you just forget about it or do you do something about it? Hopefully, most of us look into a mirror with intent. For example, if you're driving, you would look into a mirror because you want to see if it's safe for you to make a maneuver or, or whatever you need to do. So mirrors are very useful. OK, now in life, we can also reflect at things. We look back to past experiences and uh, sadly, a lot of the experiences that affect us today are usually bad or traumatic and that affects how we move forward. Now, if we fix our minds too much on that, it begins to then affect how we look forward. So imagine that. Being able to reflect on something, being able to look at a reflection and somehow that thing having an impact on your tomorrow. My name is Misello. I'm one of the leaders here um, and the wider leadership here at All Nations. And this is my thought for the week. Now, the moment you've looked at a mirror and you've, um, you're taking action, that image is already in the past. OK, now when we read from James chapter one, and I'll be reading quickly from verse 23 to 26, which reads, For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away and immediately forget what he looks like. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. An interesting illustration that James points out because it helps us as believers because, you see, when we look into the scripture, we're not looking into something that is expiring, okay? Because it's showing us who we are in Christ Jesus, who we are becoming as we are continually transformed or being renewed every day as we follow him. So when we look through scripture and that becomes the driving force that informs our our perception of or, or our desires or, or, or informs our future, then suddenly we find that we are no longer controlled by the things in the past because John chapter 5, 24 reminds us how in Christ we have been rescued from judgment. There is now no condemnation, right? But in order for us to walk in this freedom, that's why the scripture here talks about the liberty, the perfect law of liberty, because it frees us from sin and the consequences of it, the shame that comes with it. But we must learn to look in the mirror, see ourselves through Christ. Our identity is in Christ. So if we can see ourselves in Christ, then suddenly we'll find ourselves empowered to overcome challenges of life and the things that come in our day to day lives and the challenges that we face. So my hope and my prayer is that this week, as you open up your scriptures and you read, you will see yourself victorious. You will see yourself forgiven. forgiven. You will see yourself equipped for every good work. You will see that there is nothing lacking in your life that God has held back from you, but rather he has resourced you and equipped you to do every good work. But we must learn to look through the mirror of the word, because this word shows us who we are according to God's design, according to God's plans and purpose. So it is my hope that this week, this word will will play on your heart. It will just come back to you in your mind and you will remember John, uh, James chapter 1 verse uh, 23 to 26 and that you will meditate on it so that you can see the liberation that comes from knowing who you are in Christ. Thank you for listening and have a good week.